C, how are you? Welcome. We're going to let some people get here before we do our fun stuff. Everybody got their coffee? Got my coffee. One of my favorite mugs. And the kids are off watching Shrek, so hopefully that will um, entertain them. They've been on an electronic ban detox for five days now, so they're pretty into it, so that's good. Use it when you need to, right? Save it for when you need it, is what I say. Hello, Lady Weasel. So happy to see you. You're always one of the first ones. How's everybody's weekend going? Saturday. It's crazy. I know it's kind of random. I was supposed to do this live last night, but life. So we're doing it today. Happy April Fool's Day. We didn't really tell the kids it was April Fool's Day because I don't want them to know and trick me. I do not like April Fool's Day. Oh, you have a huge headache. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I hate high headaches. Like, I get migraines sometimes so bad they make me puke. So I feel that. Um, Jennifer, hello. Welcome. All right, guys, give this a thumb up. Hello, Honey Badger. I figured we could wait a couple of minutes, let some people come in. I didn't really announce I was going live, so we'll see. Now, I do, um, I did the random winner or picker thing. Um, husband did it for me, so... Ooh, making chili beans and cornbread. That sounds so good, Jen. Mm. Hey, Debbie, Melissa, Sharon, hello. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Having a good weekend? It's super windy here. Like the trees are kind of blowing all the leaves everywhere. Oh, you guys having a good weekend? Hello, Michelle. I'm glad you made it too. You guys excited? Let's see, I told my son I bought a horse, and it's going to live in our apartment. He asked where it would be able to run. I told him we would ride it through the nearby cemetery. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I'm sure the, the ghost would appreciate some horses. <laughs> Hello, Lynette. I saw an announcement. I was watching another video and dropped it for you. Oh, thank you, Jen. You're so sweet. Oh, your apartment porch. That's so funny. <laughs> like, it can live on the porch. It'll be fine. I'm sure the neighbors won't mind the um, droppings. <laughs> Are you on the second floor? That would be a little rude. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Like this video for me. You got your coffee. I'm not going to stay here too, too long. I got stuff to do. You're on the first. Okay. <laughs> then just ride it straight into the house. You know, you don't need to, you don't need to stop. You're going to have to get a, uh, what are those? posts you tie them to hitch post is that what it's called Wait. okay what a hitching, post. a hitching post thanks husband just got your notification oh good tina then if you just got i'm gonna wait a few more minutes let a couple of people come in before i announce the winner um just got a horse for my daughter today but no apartment my daughter would love a horse she's just like how old do i have to be to get a horse we're like well when can you start making money <laughs> I teach you name in April. That's what he... Happy to see you guys. Thanks for liking this video and being here with me. I'm in the school zone today. The kids are in my other, in the other room. Hey, Oda. Come on. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Hopefully, the winner is not allergic to cats because I got cats. Okay. She's like, nope. All right. Well, we're four minutes in. We'll just keep this um, live short anyway. I'm sure people are going to kind of want to come and watch and go. So this is one of the sponsors that I did. Teddy Blake. Hello, Mary. Hello, Sally. Um, I really like this purse. Uh, it's really great quality. I love the leather stitching on it. I'm just not a girl. I'm not a kid, uh, purse person. Oh, hey, Papa. How's it going? So um, this is one that you know, with these sponsors, it's hard to turn away the opportunity to have a high quality item for just some of my work. Like, you know, I'm all about bartering my time for um, for things. Like I barter, I clean fridges for free food, you know? And so this is like me bartering my YouTube skills for a free item. And, uh, you know, this purse is, I think like $500. So it's a pretty pricey purse, but, and it was hard to say no to it, you know, like it's hard to have that stuff waved in your face and say no. But I do try 
and pick and choose ones that are either going to benefit my family or I, I know that you guys will benefit from as well. So with this purse, I know that I'm not going to benefit from this because I'm not a purse person. I mean, I guess I could sell it, but I don't want to do sponsors just to turn around and sell this stuff. You know, I only want to do ones that either I would really like or it's a great item to have and I think one of you guys would like. And if it's not too big to like ship or anything, then, you know, I think it would be nice to take up the more expensive offers and sponsors and maybe give them away to you guys. So that's what this one is all about. My first giveaway to one of my sponsors is this Teddy Blake purse. Like I said, I'm just not a purse person, but someone out there might really appreciate it, you know? So we did the random person comment pick a rubber. Let me find the official name of it. It's the commentpicker.com, right? So we did that. And then we took a screenshot of the winner, and the winner is Miss Terry Doster. And here's her comment. Her comment is saying, personally, these types of copycat handbag companies like Teddy Blake leave a bad taste in my mouth. Yes, they're like the tenth of the price of the bags they're knocking off, so people who can't afford the originals from companies like Chanel have fairly well-made look-alike bags, but I just have mixed feelings about that, which I get. They seem to get away with it legally, but not using the original designer logos and having a few subtle differences in the bag's design or finishing. But in my opinion, they're profiting off the other designers' work. I don't personally buy from them, but I don't fault people who choose to, and I would still love to be entered in the drawing. I think my niece would love it. And, you know, I think that's totally right, Terry, that there are, and it's like that with every company. It's not just purses. You know, there's all, there's like the Pyrex, right? Where if it's ones that are in all caps, that's the original Pyrex company, but then there's one that's in a top P and, or a, a capital top P, a capital P homeschooling, right? No, a capital P and then the rest of it's lowercase, that's an off brand. So I don't know if you knew that, but kind of the same thing, like you're buying it to look like it, but it's just not the same quality. And those things will crack when brutal pirates went out. So Terry, even though you're not 100% on board with the company, that's okay. You are still the winner and congratulations. I will get this sent to you. I think your niece will love it as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Terry, you gotta get a hold of me. So email me, Mama Baird's Pantry at Gmail. It's still, I still need to do something with that homestead. Maybe we should change my name back to Pantry. I don't know. I don't know. Too late in the game for a name, name change. Yeah, Norma, you know that about Pyrex? It's, if you can. It's not knockoff, it's made in a different factory, so it's a different quality. It's still the same brand, but it's made in China. Okay, husband just corrected me. It's still the same brand. It's just made in China versus U.S. So it's the same brand, just different quality. Okay, yes. thanks, husband. The old ones that are all caps are higher quality glass made in the U.S. Okay, the old ones with all caps are higher quality glass made in the U.S.A. Thanks, husband. Always here to correct me. <laughs> oh, Catherine from Plains. Hi. Oh, one here from Alberta. Well, hopefully Terry will get a hold of me. If not, we can pick another winner, but she is a pretty um, um, subscri frequent sub uh, commenter. Uh, she's a frequent subscriber. <laughs> she comments a lot, watches me a lot. So I think that she will be great. And I'm definitely, you know, she will get in touch with me. If not, then we'll pick up someone else. But yay, I'm so excited for you, Terry. Yay. So hopefully, uh, well, I don't know. That's all I have to say. I don't know what the hopefully hubby's always looking out for me he is well that's all i got for you today guys i'm gonna keep this one kind of short um we got some do i'm gonna do some babysitting tonight for one of my friends so i'm gonna be leaving here in about an hour or so i know lady i'm sorry <laughs> Tamara. hello i was just saying goodbye we announced our winner though it was miss terry doster doster i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong but please reach out to me on my email or whatever, and we will get this shipped off to you. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thanks for putting up with all my sponsors. You're so good to me. And I am so happy to be able to share the love with you guys. And if I get another really good sponsor that I can share, I'll let you know. And I will do this again because I thought this was fun. I like that you guys get to share in the love as well, right? Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Grab your coffee. And I will catch you next time on Mama Bears.
Have a good weekend.